Welcome back with Letters. Today, today's a good day. Now, I was going to be, uh, this is Tommy's Tone Words, by the way, uh, just in case you're wondering. So I was going to be doing uh, some uh, top words today because people have been asking me about top words. And really, that's the, that's the engine room, you know, the tops are really, really important. So I need to give tops more love. However, something came in the mail today. Something very, very special. And uh, I thought, well, let's forego the top word until tomorrow. And let's do a Tommy's Tone Words slash unboxing video. And uh, I'll, I'll share with you my reaction to opening what is in here, which I think should be very, very special indeed. Now, um, as far as celebrity woods go, I think most of us are probably familiar with uh, quilted mahogany from the tree. It's a very storied wood, uh, another wood with lots of uh, folklore and mythology surrounding it. Perhaps not mythology, but folklore. Um, and is, uh, is, is kind of like the primo, primo uh, celebrity wood for, for guitar makers. Now, inside this package, I have something in here which is on a par with or even uh, of a higher caliber, at least on a personal level, than, uh, than the tree mahogany. So without further ado, I should probably stop rabbiting on and uh, dive into it. I've got my scalpel here. Um, my heart rate is slightly elevated. I'm pretty excited. little bits nice okay wow can you guess what it is yet now I've been purchasing wood from this seller for a number of years now and uh, it's, it's, they have become good friends and I'm very honored that I've actually been allowed to acquire some of this wood because it is <laughs> it is very special indeed oh boy okay wow this ladies and gentlemen wow this is koa but not as we know it this is koa from the Joshua tree. <sighs> wow. Holy mackerel. So, but that doesn't look like Koa, I hear you exclaim that's right so um this has come from my friends josh and elaine now josh is a third generation hawaiian koa aficionado um uh i'm, I'm lost for words here um he has been working with koa his, his whole life and um been taking care of the forest looking after the trees harvesting um dead, dying and fallen trees in a really sustainable way, often finding trees in really inaccessible areas. So really having to work hard to get these, these trees, trees out and um, taking a lot of care to process the, the wood. Now, this particular tree is known the Joshua tree. It's, it's kind of, I guess, Josh's baby. Now, I'm still waiting to find out a little bit more about this, this, this tree, but the information I have so far is that this is koa like no other. Koa that um, Josh in his entire career has never, has never seen before or since. And um, as such, this is as close to uh, private stock, personal stock, as, as you could possibly hope to get. And uh, private stock of the person who actually fells the, the wood in the first place is the kind of private stock that you want to have access to um and this is uh this is pretty remarkable 
already, I mean, looking at it, you just have to look at the color to see how dense it is, to know how, how much more dense it is than, than your kind of typical color. And the curl, even without wetting this out, is just insanity grade. So let's give it a little, a little, a little taparoo. Yeah, it's very koa-like. There's a little bit of something else going on there that I can't quite put my finger on. Crazy dense. Wow. That's special. Let's, uh, let's put a little bit of magic spray on here. It's a good thing I'm sitting down. This is, uh, this is just some isopropyl alcohol. Oh, good Lord. Good, good, good God. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That is unbelievable. That is utterly unbelievable. Now, you can probably see why this is so special. I've never, ever seen Koa like that. The curl, the figure on that is so incredibly tight and it's so dense. The color is so deep and so dark. There's almost black streaks running through this. Unbelievable. This is beyond, this is an, this is an honor to have been uh, trusted enough to be a custodian for um, and uh, be, be trusted enough to, to build with this and to do the, to do the wood justice. And I've, I've totally messed up that book match saying that, but look at that. So just for a comparison, I have, uh, wow, I've really overdone it with the, <laughs> with the alcohol spray there. Just for a comparison, I have one of my master grade sets here. One of my typical master grade sets. And this is special wood. This is really beautiful stuff. So that is a, that is a master grade Koa set, which is just exquisite in its own right. But just to compare, Now that is just unheard of. That's just ridiculous. That's utterly ridiculous. Just look at the two, just, wow. My mind is literally the emoji with the mushroom cloud coming out of the top. So this is, quite, this is still quite thick. So I would, uh, I would take this down quite a lot and it will start to uh, reveal its true tonal potential. Now, typically, koa is um, very similar to walnut, very similar to mahogany. I would say more, more similar to, to walnut in terms of its workability. Um, it's a joy to work with, but I have a feeling that uh, that, that curl is gonna provide one or two challenges. <laughs> it's a challenge that I am I'm willing to uh, to accept. And yeah, that is uh, pretty special. Koa acacia. Um, sorry, acacia koa. Endemic koa is uh, endemic to Hawaii. It's the only place in the world that it grows. The nearest relative is uh, Australian blackwood, Tasmanian blackwood, acacia melanoxylon. Um, but koa is its own thing. It's pretty special. Only grows in Hawaii. Um, and uh, most of the low-lying koa has been clear-cut for grazing pasture. Um, so the, the koa that remains tends to be higher at higher elevations, often really quite difficult to get to. And in the case of Joshua Lane's koa, it is um, sustainably sourced because it's koa that's already fallen. Maybe it's wind damage, disease dead. Um, and but Josh will only take 
um, mature fallen trees. They won't cut down um, standing stock. So I am so excited to, to work with that set. I think it's going to be going for a build next year. I want to build with it right now. So on that, uh, so concludes um, a rather overwhelming episode of Tommy Stonewoods. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to look at Koa again because I have lots of different Koa sets. And uh, yeah, wow. It's all good stuff. I absolutely love it.